Traditional Chinese body treatment goes back to about 5,000 years. There are approximately over 3,000 Chinese massage clinics throughout the UK. Liana Duano's four stores in London. She's one of the most recognized Chinese masseuse in her field. Hi, morning. Good morning. With a good smile. Liana opened this shop in Baker Street two weeks ago. She's planning to turn it into a training center. People in Europe are getting more interested in Chinese traditional medicine and body treatment. Some of them are eager to learn. I've got some students from Belgium, France, Germany, etc. and more coming. I don't have a spacious place for teaching them. You know, this shop is in Baker Street. Its good location is easier for my students to travel. Since Liana started her career here, she has been tutoring 10 students from different countries. Sophia, Leon and George are her new students. I think she's a very good teacher, very different than what we're used to as well, I think. Yeah, I mean, she, yeah. she's excellent in what she does. And, and she, if you are patient enough and open-minded enough to listen to her and to listen to what she has to say, she's going to teach you enormously. She's very good at what she does. She really wants you to learn her skills. So she puts 100% in, uh, in teaching you what she's been, been able to um, develop in, in, in terms of skills. Liana has entered this field for 15 years after her graduation from a massaging college back in China. It was a blind man who led me into this business. Mr. Wang was very good at massage and he helped people stay healthy. After I met him, I thought to myself that maybe this was the thing that I had been looking for years. You know, before that I tried different jobs as a saleswoman and also factory worker. All hard, but not good for a lifelong career. The meeting with Mr. Wong was the changing point of my life. I got my basic knowledge of human body treatment from him before I attended a special college for more advanced studying theories and skills. After my graduation, I started my career in a big massage center in Changsha, the capital city of Hunan province. Thanks to my skills, I was promoted from a masseur to a trainer only after two years. You know, at that time, I was a little bit famous in the field. I trained hundreds of students and also provided my services to some of the pop stars when they came to the provincial capital for performances. In 2002, one of my students told me that he was leaving for the UK for some new business in the field of massage. You know, I'm always seeking something new and life in the UK seemed to be very attractive to me at that time. I told myself, I should go and have another new experience. So I came here. Liana still has a lot to tell, recording her first days in London. The first hot days will be in my mind forever. When I firstly arrived in London, I worked for Doctor and Herbs. Life was extremely hard for me since I knew very little English and also the job was hard as well. At that time I missed my family very, very much. The harder the life, the more you miss your family and friends. When I was homesick, I tried to fill up my spare time with reading books and learning English. I kept myself busy all day long. I got up at 7 in the morning almost every day to learn the language. I even bought a computer for that. You know, I was also computer illiterate. But I overcame all the difficulties. I carried my notebook and pen and a picture of the human body with me every day. When I was not sure with the names of the body parts, I pointed at the picture and asked my customers to tell me. After several months, I was able to communicate properly with my clients and I made some very good friends. They liked my treatment and also me as well. Traditional Chinese body treatment is a combination of many techniques, including massage, acupuncture, and gua sha, or the techniques to intentionally raise brush by scraping the skin. Many people doubt the effects, but to the majority, it is considered to be an effective way of releasing stress and easing the pain within the human body. Monica, one of Liana's old customers, 
think it works quite well. This week I haven't been well at all. And on Tuesday night, actually, I had to go to a local hospital because I couldn't sleep. I was in agony. I was in real pain. And they took some blood tests and they took some other tests and they took an x-ray. And they told me that I had some sort of blockage inside my stomach. But they didn't tell me, you know, they gave me some pills and they didn't tell me where the blockage is or how to get rid of it, apart from the tablets. But I came here this morning and Lena told me, number one, why I had a blockage, where the blockage was and how to get rid of it. Dr. Lin has been working in this field for over 35 years. According to her, it is hard to say who is the best. At the beginning, there were clashes between us. She asked me to learn her technique. But in my opinion, each doctor has her own treatment methods. It's hard to say who's the best. We even had quarrels sometimes, but reconciled the other day. After all, we want to help each other to make progress. Although I can't totally agree with her on technique, I have to say she's talented in management. There are big differences between a worker and a manager, or even an owner. You have to think how to cover all the bills and make profits. To ensure that all the clients can enjoy a good service in my clinics, I set up strict rules for my employees. For example, the clinic must be tidy and neat at any time of the business hours. The reception should be friendly and make our clients feel at home. As to the doctors, quality of their practice is the lifeline. They must learn new techniques and be very familiar with human bodies and know where about the treatment. All employees in my four clinics are obeying the same rules. Over the past months, some of the local staff left. I am thinking of the reason. Maybe it's because of the different ways of management or the cultural differences. Sometimes my British employees and I have different opinions on the same thing. John Davis, another customer of Liana's, has been doing business in mainland China for the past decades. He thinks there should be more people like Liana to spread the Chinese culture. Well, it's that, that's people, isn't it? I mean, that's about um, educating people or people educating themselves. People would need to be more open and more, if you like, it's, it's a bad word for some people, but westernized. On the other hand, the Chinese culture shouldn't change and become too westernized. It's better to stay as it is. I don't think it's good to stay as it is. Everything is developing in China, but I can still feel the gap between my hometown and here in London. The changes are somehow slower than here. I want to get more Chinese people to come over to fill the place in the UK. I'm helping my sister to come and now she's applying for her visa. When she comes, she can feel the cultural differences and get new experience for the good for herself. Of course, I also need my family to come over to help me with my business. You know, it's quite hard to manage four shops at the same time. And also, I want to do more. I have found out that to most British people, obesity, heart disease and bad circulation are very common. Prevention is more important than a cure. I'm working on this aspect. I wrote some articles for academic journals and I'm also considering writing some leaflets on how to keep healthy in your daily life. A good habit can help. Sit properly and walk properly and eat properly can also help. I will show people how to cook healthy dishes as well. I want to set up my own international lunch show special treatment center in the next few years, providing proper treatment to my clients. We can combine the Western medicine and Chinese medicine together to better serve the people. I hope that I can help people recover from their diseases and stay healthy afterwards. I also want to have more students to spread the Chinese traditional treatment to their countries and benefit more people. Traditional Chinese treatment has been officially introduced to the UK almost 50 years ago, but like the business of Lianas, it just started to receive more attention and recognition from the British. Maybe it will take me five years to realize my dream, or even ten. But anyway, I will not change my destination. 
I will work for it. Mm-hmm. 